Well, hi there. I'm working on this painting of Moses, Aaron, and her again, this 30 by 40 acrylic portrait depicting the Amalekite battle. And this is again a illustration of prayer, of intercessory prayer. Moses is seated on the rock. He's struggling to hold up the staff, and that staff is that conduit of God's power, a symbol of God's um, help for his people. And as Moses' strength is failing, Aaron and her are helping him to hold his arms steady so he can hold that staff up. And that's what I'm depicting here. Now today we're gonna to be working on the background. I wanna add some shading, uh, get in some of these warmer tones. You can see the reference photo I'm working from here. And we wanna get in some of these warmer tones for the clouds and some of the cool blues in there. So let's, let's work on the background. And uh, we're doing this using the acrylic glazing technique. And again, that's where we mix clear matte medium with a little bit of acrylic paint and we create vibrant effects of luminosity and depth. Before I begin, I'd just like to ask a blessing on this painting session and ask a blessing on you as well. So, Father, I do ask a blessing on this painting as I work on it. Help me to be able to capture the nuances, the shading, the vivid look of the sky. I pray you'd help the students watching and I ask that this class, this mini lesson would be beneficial for them. And I pray that you would bless this painting that would really illustrate the power of intercessory prayer. So Lord, help me, anoint me as I do this in Jesus' name, amen. By the way, if you would like to check out my channel, or I should say my website, Realistic Acrylic Portrait School, and that's realisticacrylic.com. I have several tips, tutorials, classes, free videos you can watch there downloadable guides covering skin tones, values, shading, uh, and different things that'll help you in your portrait painting. So check that out at realisticacrylic.com. All right, and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. So when I have new videos out, you'll be the first to know. All right, let's dive in here. And we're going to, like I say, work on the background. So let's Let's start off with a little bit of alizarin crimson. That's a good color. And we're just going to use this size 20 flat brush. It's kind of like a three quarter flat. So we take a little bit of paint, mix it with a lot of matte medium. And I think that's just going to be a good color to go with overall. We're going to start, usually I start on the left hand side. We're going to start on the right hand side this time. And we'll start up there in the corner and just kind of move it over. Now the, sometimes you have a little too much pigment in your paint, so I'm just going to dilute that out quick. Add a little bit of matte medium and we'll let this uh, just kind of bleed over here. And then sometimes it actually helps to use a different brush. So let's, let's switch. I have to move a couple of things here because this creates a lot of drips sometimes when you're doing these large glazes. Let's use a two inch flat. This is gonna work better for this format. All right, so we start off, we just kind of brush it one way, then the other, and then the other. So kind of a vertical brush, then diagonal, and then horizontal. And actually, you kind of will work mostly horizontal for a format like this. That's just gonna make sense. You don't wanna brush up and down when the painting is tilted horizontally like this. Okay, we're just gonna continue on here and we're starting with the darker side. Now, sometimes I work from left to right, but generally I also work from the darker portion to the lighter portion. And in the reference photo, it's darker on that right-hand side plus the colors have a little more pink in them on that side. So therefore I'm gonna be doing it that way. I have my reference photo taped to the canvas. That helps me too to really see because my Kindle's kind of far away from me. And I need my reference photo really, really close. That's a good secret for painting. Get that reference photo right next to your painting or even tape it on top of your painting. We can do that with acrylic. We can't do that with oil, but with acrylic we can. And that really will help you to see what's going on. 
And I want to leave a little room for the blue down here. So let's just wipe that away. It's always good to have a rag nearby when you're painting too. We'll just kind of bring this out a little bit to the left and I'm adding some matte medium as we go on my palette. I'm mixing more matte medium into the mix. And what that does is it dilutes that glaze and then it's a little bit lighter because there's less pigment in there. That's one way of really controlling your mixture and controlling the shading. So that'll be good for now. Now I want to look at the canvas or look at the reference photo and ask myself, can I use this color elsewhere? Can I use this alizarin crimson glaze elsewhere? And I do see a little bit of this in the lower portion. We're going to add this right down here, right next to her or whoever that is. I also need a little more matte medium as well, because this large brush just kind of eats it up. So we'll just put that right here, make sure it's blended enough. It really shouldn't be on the rock there or the background. Let's wipe that away. And you can do that with glazes. You can just grab a rag or a towel and just kind of wipe them away when you need to. That's not a big deal. Okay, and we'll add a little bit of pink down at the bottom because in the reference photo I do see more of that color. And um, maybe, maybe we'll add just a little bit of that all the way down here. Just a bit of that color at the horizon. And I think that'll, that'll just add something to it. Just to kind of get that color integrated throughout. And see how we use these vertical and then diagonal strokes? That's how you blend it out, just like that. All right. So I like that, that's good. I'm just gonna finish up by adding this particular color into Moses, Moses's clothing. So we're going to add just a little bit here and I'm going to zoom in for that so you can get a sense for it. I just, sorry about that. I had a little tangle. I have a whole bunch of cords draped all over the place here to get the sound and everything and I just snagged on one of those cords. I have three different stations in my studio that I work at. I have a painting here on the wall. I've got a easel and then I have a painting on a drafting table. So three different stations and I probably need to buy two more microphones so I can keep them permanently attached where I want them. But for now, this will work. And we're just using this alizarin crimson glaze, same kind of glaze we used up there, just a little bit more robust little little higher ratio of matte medium to the glaze. So if you can see that, that's what that looks like. And we just kind of block that and just kind of scrub it in almost to these striped areas. I'm just trying to get that kind of that Charleston Heston look. I'll probably need to add some, make that green. Right now it looks like red, white, and blue. So we don't want them to look like Uncle Sam we will need to make sure that that blue is actually more of a green or I might actually use green for the uh, middle colors just so it's not like Uncle Sam. That would not have the right look. Okay, so just continue this glaze down and zoom in there even further you can really see what's going on then. All right we'll just add a little bit of that reddish color here and it's I guess it's a little lighter at this point so I just want to use that a little more sparingly. All right uh, just a bit more of that on the side. Excellent. And there we go. All right, so I'm gonna leave off right here. 
on this video. Again, you just see everything kind of in bits and pieces with this technique. Because I am painting this live real time. And so you're seeing it as I'm doing it. There's really, really no editing at all going on in these videos here, these series. Um, virtually no editing. So this is what we have right now. Got the red glazes up in the corner. Red glaze is here. You can use this technique in your portrait painting. Uh, it works very, very well for creating a sense of luminosity, starting off very, very light, kind of like a Polaroid camera print, and fading it slowly into completion. So anyway, I hope this helps. And uh, again, check out my channel, realisticacrylic.com. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon.